Test one, two, three, four. Test one, two, three, four. Test one, two, three, four. There's a couple things. Um, one is it's very useful for me to do some kind of physical exercise, um, either in the morning before I start writing or maybe break up the writing day with exercise. I've run into a lot of graduate students who I've worked with here at the Writing Center, like at the gym, and they're uh, coming over from wherever they're writing, their office or whatever, and they come and they work out for a while, and then they'll go back to writing, and then later on, they'll come back to the gym and work out some more, you know. Blowing off steam through intense physical activity is actually pretty great, you know, and then you come back and you're, you're so physically exhausted that you don't, your body doesn't have, it feels like, feels like your body doesn't have the energy to have anxiety anymore because <laughs> you've just, you know, run yourself into a froth or lifted weights or whatever it is. So, yeah. So that's, that's one strategy. I also think that um, you are what you eat. And so a lot of times when I'm feeling lost, and this can turn into a procrastination technique too, but to read something, to read some scholar you like or some particularly inspiring piece of evidence you found in your research or something, something you really like, to, to read that can be sort of comforting and stimulating, you know, and so you, it gives you a springboard. If I'm feeling kind of lost and I don't know what I'm trying to say or I'm not sure if what I'm saying is articulating exactly what I mean or whatever it is, or if I just don't even know how to get started, you know, the fear of the blank page, right? reading something that I that I like a lot um, or that I don't know that I like going oh I haven't really read this book yet let me see what a lot of times that will alleviate anxiety and have the benefit of kind of giving me something to push off of to start generating ideas because you're you're responding it's conversation you're responding to what you've read